everything that I had planned to do to this bike. Amazing, as June said. I mean, you've said in a couple of the videos. Bar setup feels great. Carbon fiber fender I got from uh, Forever Red. You just, you <laughs> checking up all the boxes, man. Are you single? I, oh, shit. <laughs> the video guys here my boy rich we are gonna be doing some pretty cool indian challenger stuff for you today so right behind here we got my indian challenger quote unquote and then behind over here we don't want to show you too much of his bike because what we're gonna do is that we're gonna dive into the discussion and then afterwards we'll give you piece by piece of what he's done on his bike and show you this thing because this thing is a beast looks great sounds great he just let me take it around the block right now and it's, it's a it's, it's a beast uh, but before we get into everything, if you just want to tell everybody who you are, he just started his channel, by the way. So if you guys want to see some Indian Challenger content, he also has a, a CVO. So we got another person here who loves Harley and loves Indian. So pe people like that, I I, I, I want to keep in my circle because you're, 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 you're well balanced, you know? Absolutely. So if you want to go ahead and plug your channel in, tell them know who you are, what you do. Name's Rich, Baggers and BS. Check out my channel. I'll be doing, like you said, like uh, June said, a lot of uh, Indian Harley content uh, comparisons with my CVO. It's pretty well done up. Um, June's going to be going over what's done to this bike, which is pretty well done up. Um, and just... You know doing comparisons on both bikes what you know what both have to offer what i like about them and honestly get everybody's opinion that's my goal and uh and anything bagger related and uh anything that we come across at baggers and bs i really want to do some content on it and uh that's exactly why i'm here with you so right on cheers to that bro such a little beer for a big guy man <laughs> yeah he's got the little ones it's not that i'm that big <laughs> Just so you guys know. Yeah. Camera, so. camera has a couple things. <laughs> <laughs> Basically what I want to do in this video is talk about everything that I had planned to do to this bike. If this, if Indian would be like, hey, this is your bike, you can keep it. Indian, if you're listening. <laughs> That'd be great, right? So I, I've been thinking about this for a while because I'm like, you know what, like I, I really, really love it. And when I tell you guys I love the Indian Challenger for all the reasons, it is, and, and I start thinking about everything that I would do if this was my bike. So. A lot of stuff that I would do to this bike, like I said, he already has done on his. So we'll, we'll show you the clips afterwards. But we'll, we'll, we'll just start going piece by piece. Um, you guys know I have the Baja lights on my Rogue Light. I, I love the look of the Baja lights on bikes. Um, so the first thing I would do, swap this LED light out, even though it has great lighting, but the Baja light just gives it a great look. I will go ahead, swap the, this light out for a Baja light. I will go ahead and I'll do the carbon front fender like you have on your bike, the carbon rear fender like you have on your bike, right? We'll start with that. Then you guys uh, have heard me talking about uh, having a T-bar setup, which you went ahead and did on your bike as well. <laughs> so the same exact T-bar setup that he has on his bike is exactly what I would have done on mine. The grips you have on that bike are the same oh. grips. I'm a step ahead by accident. You, you, you just you checking up all the boxes, man. Are you single? I, oh, <laughs> matter of fact, no, because the baby. I was just kidding. <laughs> um, what I would do next? Uh, powder coat the wheels. Uh, depending on the color of the bike, I would definitely go ahead and powder coat the wheels, make the make the bike pop a little more. Um, crash bars, the rear guard, the the rear bag, uh, crash bars and then swapping out for the matching ones in the front as well. That's what I would do. Obviously little stuff like the floorboards and little 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 stuff here and there just to give it a little more pop, a little color here and there. Like I said, depending on the color that I would have, it, it would depend on the type of color of accessories that I would add, right? Um, the seat, the seat is amazing that Indian has on this. For a stock seat, it's a great seat, but obviously we gotta add our own touch. So I would obviously swap the seat out um, get some color <clears throat> stitching in there as well. Maybe if I'm able to add a logo on there, that that will be great. Um, you got the right guy for that. Yeah, there we go. I, I got I got a guy too. Um, <laughs> cam. It's all about uh, cam work. So 
we were talking about uh, Lloyd's. Lloyd's has Lloyd's, a cam. Lloyd's has a cam out for the Indians. Now for the Challengers, it's with SNS. Lloyd's and SNS came up with cams. I believe there's three profiles. I believe there's a street profile, a like middle of the road profile for like horsepower, and then there's a racing profile, which I think we're not going to be able to get access to unless you're, you know. Yeah. I'm sure there's always a way around that, you know. Yeah. But so it's like a torque cam, a horsepower cam. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's and uh, based on what I was told, they're they're getting 130 to 136 horsepower to the rear wheel. Yeah. On a cam, on one of those, on these challengers. So that's, I mean, that's like we were talking before. That's a 131. Yeah. But when, when, wait a minute. When I took it out right now, was it on sport mode or just? No, standard. I don't ride it in sport mode. Yeah. Because I, I wanted to surprise me. Like I, I wanted to wait. <laughs> Honestly, I was so impressed by it that I wanted to. I want to like once I get it tuned properly. Like it's, mm -hmm. it's the tune now is just the card tune from Indian for that intake. So it's running fine according to the dealership. Yeah. Now once I get it tuned for that pipe through Lloyd's because Lloyd's has a specific tune for that bike with that tune and that pipe. Um, I'm sure it's going to be even better. Yeah. And that's where I'm like, that's when I'll start throwing in the sport. Because it's, I mean, you felt it. You felt yeah. it. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I switched to second gear, and I'm like, what the hell is going on this thing? It, it, it felt like a beast. Um, so a cam for sure. And then a nice exhaust. You have the Suwiki on yours, right? Yeah, Suwiki Speed is, I mean, again, Lloyd's designed that pipe specifically for the engine Challenger. Challenger. Yeah. yeah, but it, it sounds great. So, I mean, even at the end, we'll, we'll give you guys a nice little sound clip of what his bike sounds like. It, it, it sounds really good. Um, if you're familiar with Suwiki Pipes, <clears throat> it, it has a nice raspy sound to it. I would probably go ahead and powder coat the, the, the tubes in the front for the floor. Definitely. You can get the... Uh you can powder coat the tubes, and you can also change the uh, the slider inside so they're yellow. So that, yeah, 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 like you know, for the gold if, tubes. Yeah, yeah for the gold tubes. If that's what you want. That that's, that's what, what I would want is like the gold ones. Yeah. Yeah, like I didn't I didn't go I didn't want to go too crazy. Um, one thing I have to say that from bare knuckle performance, the two inch lift for that extra clearance for ripping turns. Is, you you have it on your. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know if you felt it like the height difference. I, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't notice it that much. I mean, it, it, it sits taller, way taller than this bike, yeah, for sure. But it's it gives me an extra two inches of clearance, and it pains me to say it, but on a Harley, that's you're talking about 1,600 for the rear shocks, and then oh, yeah. another 1,000 for cartridges in the front. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I've, I've said it before. The stock suspension on this bike is amazing. Like, you, you would have to spend $1,600 on yeah. your Harley in order to get this type of suspension which comes stock yeah you know so it's, it's, it's i mean i'm 320 pounds about 315 and you know what it absorbs every bump mm -hmm. when i'm going fast when i'm ripping through a sweeper when i'm not ripping through when i'm just cruising yeah i mean i was beyond surprised and listen i still love my cvo um i'm not gonna sit here and hate on harley because i don't hate i love harley there's nothing like a harley but the bike is absolutely Amazing as June said, I mean you've said in a couple of the videos, you know, just first time riding it out of the box I mean and like if you think about the amount of money that I put into that it really wasn't It's not a ton of money. I mean, it's not that listen. I'm not sitting here. I'm not rich I'm a blue-collar working guy just like most of us, but uh, you rich, know, I'm just the rich guy Yeah, <laughs> rich, rich the poor guy. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm definitely poor after this thing between that and the CVO poorhouse any donations Feel free to send them to your, your, your channel should have been Richie Rich Baggers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> people are going to get the wrong idea. <laughs> anyway, so, um, yeah, but it's like the amount of money I put into it, you know, barring labor and stuff like that, parts wise, it wasn't an astronomical amount of money yeah. to make it look different, to make it look like a performance bagger, which is what got me. When I was able to get that dash kit and that setup, mm -hmm. I was like, I'm building another performance bagger. Yeah. <laughs> For probably half the cost. Nah, I mean, the, the way you did it, you, you, you did it right, man. It's like you basically picked everything that I would want to do on mine. At the same time, little things for now that can wait. Like the seat, fantastic. I mm -hmm. rode it for two hours straight, no hot spots. I felt great. I was like, dude, this is crazy that this yeah. is a stock seat. Yeah. 
Do I like the way it looks? Eh, I'm not crazy about it. I want to put my own touches, like June said, and 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 really like a saddleman or something like that or, or whatever. So saddleman actually makes a, a really nice one. I, I mean, I, I'm a I'm a lapera guy. Yeah. All day, uh, but I don't I don't know if lapera makes seats for his bike yet. I, I don't think they do. I, I know Saddleman does. Yeah. Well, you know what? I gotta be picky because 320 pounds, bro. You start crushing that foam. Yeah. You know you. Are, yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. I'm, I'm wearing through it. Like you're sitting on the foam. I'm. Yeah. yeah. Crushing yeah. that layer of foam. So I gotta be a little bit more. Uh, you know. So I. For me, it's always a challenge um, to get something that's comfortable. Mm. You know. Believe it or not, on my CVO, I have a San Diego Customs, and that is very comfortable for me. Which I, you know, I was like, yeah, I was iffy about it. And I guess I just got used to it. But. I mean, the thing with these bikes is that even going back to the whole discussion about spending money is that you're buying this bike in stock, you're getting all this power that with, let's say, with a stock road glide or street glide, you will have to dish out three or four grand in order for you to have the same amount of power that you have on this bike stock. Correct. Which to me is like, I sit down sometimes and I'm like, yeah, that's, that's crazy, bro. So that, I had a dyno, it made a hundred and some stock. And he said that it would have made more power, but it had some type of limiter in fifth gear. So at the top end, so it made 107 horse with that pipe and that intake, and 122 rear wheel torque. What's the tuner though? Those are good numbers. Yeah. But once you switch out the tuner, it's gonna be another. I don't. Know, I'm just curious. I don't even know what. Yeah. I don't even. It's gonna be. It's gonna be wild. Yeah. Anyways, that's basically everything that that I would do, right, right off the bat. Obviously, you know, air cleaner. Like I said, the, the little stuff. But the main uh, major components that that that's uh, those are the things. Even I would even go as far as even the radiator and the side cover is even powder coating that to match the paint as well. That would look sick. Because you know you know like on the road glide you, you have the chin yeah. spoiler. Yeah. Yep. Just uh, you oh, know. Oh yeah. Uh, I don't know. Well, listen, I, you, you start looking at stuff and I was looking that's, that's what makes it fun. It makes it because you know what some you're gonna pull up somewhere somebody's gonna see it and be like, what's what's different about his bike? And as they start looking yeah, yeah, at it closer, yeah. they're gonna be like. Bro, that's dope. Yeah. They're gonna be like, I didn't know what that was. I was, yeah. you know. Yeah. And that's that's part of that's part of this whole bike thing. It's part of the culture, it, it's, man. It's part of the culture. You customize it to make it your own, as he said. Yeah. All right. First things first. From fender, carbon fender. Where's that from? Carbon fiber fender I got from uh, Forever Rad. Um, it's the FTR front fender. He provided it for me. It's, I mean, it speaks for itself. It looks awesome. And, and this is the the fender that they, they kind of use for the, the the king of the baggers races. Yeah, 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 yeah. But basically, it's like I don't know if it's the same fender or not, but it, it's the same setup. Yeah, it, it looks just like that. It looks sick. Man. Yeah, I love and, it. And you got the Baja light in the front. Baja LP6, which came with a wiring harness that they sell. It comes pretty much so you can plug and play. The only real thing that I believe they had to do is there's a um, there's a uh, like a, a mold. Did you have to get a bracket for this? It comes with everything. No, you're actually there's something that you trim. There's a part. Everything comes with it, so that you get it. And all you got to do is basically trim the bracket that's in there, so that it fits right, and then that's it. And it comes with a template. From Forever Red, so that you can actually. Oh, sweet. Okay. Yeah, that way it comes out right. This is what I forgot to mention. Was because uh, I know, like, you guys know that this is the adjustable windshield, but Clockworks has this available as well. One thing I forgot to mention. This looks so much, and I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm like, oh, rotors as well. Those are dope. Galfer Wave rotors. You'll feel the difference. They, they, they work awesome. The bike's dirty right now, by the way, so don't judge me. And then you just bought the rotors and the pads. That's yeah, all you had to rotors, get. pads. And yeah, because uh, it has a whole big Brembo uh, kit on it already. Yeah, I mean, once you put the Galfer rotors on, you'll feel the difference. You'll yeah. definitely feel. I mean, they felt good before, but it feels even better. You got the Suwiki pipe? The pipe I ordered uh, from Suwiki Speed. Again, like we said earlier, it's made by Lloyd's, designed it specifically for this bike. So I was like, I mean, Lloyd's is, is very renowned with the Challengers and the Indians and the whole line, so... You know, one thing he knows is how to make power with them, so yeah. he designed it, I was like, let me get it. Well, one thing I like about this is, is the way it's tucked in right yeah. under the, underneath the bag right there. Yeah. Like, it, it, it fits perfectly. Yeah, I love it. I mean, I think it has a good look. It has a great sound. I mean, like you said, it's deep, it's raspy, but at the same time, I don't know, you got to hear it. Like, when, when you're away from it, 
when you're when you're away from it, like I'm standing back and you're pulling away, I was like, ugh. Oh, yeah. That's what that dude was talking about that, yeah. that I told you about. <laughs> All right. And then uh, the rear fender. Uh, the rear fender, again, I got this one from Get Lowered, um, kind of by accident. Um, I asked him if he could get it. He said he could, and uh, next thing I know, it was ordered. But Because uh, I usually just order stuff. But uh, it's, you, you, it's available at Forever Rad. It's carbon fiber, which, just so you know, when you go when you decide to do your upgrades, this one will be for sale because I already got something in the works with uh, Kyle Birch over at Forever Rad. You got a different one? Right. I can't divulge let, let, that. Let, just let, yet. Let, let's not talk about it. Listen, yet. that guy, surprised. that guy Kyle Birch over there at Forever Rad is awesome. Like he comes up with a bunch of stuff. I awesome. saw something, I asked him about it, and I was like, okay. So awesome. And you got the are those custom dynamics rear lights. Um, or no? I believe they are. I don't remember. Also from Forever Rad. Okay. He shipped them out to me. Um, the license plate. The plate holder looks the, really awesome. From Forever Rad. He makes them himself. Okay. And, I mean, listen. It's solid, bro. It's on there. Like, it ain't going anywhere. You know, it's hard to tell when you're looking at it, but it's not flimsy at all. So, basically, anything you want for a Challenger, just hit up Forever Rad. Forever Rad, yeah. Nice. Or uh, the lift, the 2-inch lift, bare knuckle performance. Okay. All right. Now, let's talk about the setup real quick. So it's a little bit dirty. Uh, this is from Barnstormers, okay, which I got. You can get it through Barnstormers or you can get it from Forever Rad. Mm -hmm. um, I got it through through Kyle over at Forever Rad. And uh, this whole kit, I mean, you can choose whether you want like these 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 uh, gauge box these gauge clusters are. Uh, they're, they're, I ordered them gloss black. You can order this in whatever finish you want. Oh, I right. believe either flat, raw, or gloss black. So uh, I chose this part flat, obviously. Um, gloss black on the uh, gauges and I mean you know they, they give you a few different options you can actually order the bars from them too um, I ordered them separately obviously because I wasn't sure what was gonna go where and what exactly I wanted at the time and what height so just in case if you guys haven't noticed or you're blind so the gauges usually are up here so with this kit you're relocating your gauges and then your screen is coming up here so everything's just getting swapped around looks super awesome uh i remember when when i did the video um someone sent me over to them i forgot who who uh put in the comment and i looked at it and i started looking into the product i'm like wow that, that's that's pretty cool um so you got that you got the kraus riser here uh eight, eight inch, inch you said around there and uh bar the bar is a fly moto bar behringer hand controls that uh i mean you Levers. you felt them yeah they feel great they just feel Honestly, I'm even thinking about putting them on the CVO. That's how good I feel. They, they feel really good. Yeah. They feel really good. And they do kind of give you that kind of, even though they're not shorties, Yeah. they kind of give you that feeling. That feel, right. Yeah, I like that. Like throw two fingers on them. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like them. I'm thinking about, and I think you kind of sold me. I kind of want to get more robot. <laughs> I'm right telling you. All right, so you say you're 5'11", right? 5'11", 320 pounds, 315, give or take. After on a that, good day, right? After that beer, you know, <laughs> <laughs> it might be 318. Yeah. Um, yeah, bro, you, you, you look good on there, man. But you know what? I still have, like, my elbows aren't completely locked out. I'm comfortable. Foot positioning, plenty of room. You know what I mean? So, and even with the two-inch lift, I'm still flat-footed. Right? Oh, yeah. Now, me, I'm 5'7", so obviously a lot shorter. Um, I'm not able to flat-foot it, but I'm not tippy toning it either. I'm, like, on the balls of my feet right now. So, real comfortable for me. Bar setup feels great. Dude, this is exactly, exactly where I would have mine at. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just, exactly perfect. It's, it's very similar, or if not almost similar. On the CVO, I have 10s, but uh, it's pretty much identical otherwise. Yeah, but this, this sits higher though up here. Yes. You know? Yeah, that's a tire on this. That would be what you would call the Raptor plate that comes with the Krauss setup. Ooh. Yeah, I, I know you guys want to hear it, so we'll turn the bike on right now. We'll let you hear it. But it sounds great. It looks great. Um, Goddamn. Goddamn.
You don't have a cam on. No. No, I had I had some guy ask me the other day. Do you have a cam on? I'm like, no. So can you imagine after that? That that's the thing is that. Oh my god. <laughs> like all right, so my Milwaukee eight, my one fourteen Milwaukee eight, does not sound like that. Without a cam, I had, I had to put a cam in order for my bike to sound like that. And this bike just wouldn't exhaust. Just oh, Indian man, Indian. It's just constant smiles. <laughs> Listen, it's tough for me to say it because, again, I'm smiling when I'm riding my CVO. But like for what it is and and for what you, you gotta respect like, it. Yeah, you, you gotta, gotta respect, respect it. Like, All right, so that's basically it. That's everything that I would do to my Challenger if it was my Challenger. It's everything that Rich has done to his bike. And I mean, if, if just just drop down in the comments down below, which is your favorite upgrade right now that Rich has done to this bike? I I, I don't know. For me, it might be. I, I'm pro, I'm I'm in in between the bar setup and then the carbon fenders. Yeah. What was your favorite? The bar setup, the dash kit, like that whole bar dash that, kit. That's setup. your favorite upgrade. Yeah, on like, that was what really had me like. Holy cow, I can do the bars that I, just like when you picked that up, it, it, you it were like, changes. these are the bars that I want. I'm like, that's what I wanted. It changes everything. Yeah, it, it, it's just night and day. And it changes the feel, it changes the look. It's night and day, man. It's just, as good as the bike feels stock, when you put those bars on it, you're like, oh my God. Like my head is like all over the place right now because I want to like. Indian, I think somebody's <laughs> trying to send you a message. <laughs> Maybe you should come out with it. I don't know. <laughs> Listen, guys, I'm going to be linking his YouTube down below. You guys can check his stuff out. Um, and then probably going to see more of his face around the channel going forward. Uh, more content between the Indians, more content with the CBO, my road glide, and a lot of cool stuff. So tune in. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell button to so notify you anytime I upload a type of content. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.